Almond milk is one of the yummiest of all the nut milks. It has a very subtle sweetness to it and it goes great with granola or chia seed pudding or when just consumed as is. So to make about 32 ounces of almond milk, we need half a cup of almond soaked overnight or at least 6 to 8 hours to get rid of the enzyme inhibitors from their skin. They almost double in size by morning and the skin needs to be peeled off just by gently squeezing on the almond and push it out of its skin. It, this is a very easy and quick way to peel them. I'm almost done with these. And these need to be washed to get rid of any tannins left out. Here I have a 32 ounce bottle filled with drinking water. It makes it easier for me to measure the amount of water needed. I'll add the almonds to the blender jar and add just a little bit of water or until the almonds are drowned and close the lid. Too much water in the blender will result in a grainy milk so start by just adding a little bit to the blender and turn this on on the lowest setting and gradually bump it to high. Blend it for about 1-2 to two minutes or until it's super smooth. I'll turn this off now, it's been about 2 minutes and the almonds are completely blended and smooth. Now with some water from our bottle, I'll wash off the sides of the jar, don't want to waste any of it. Just like that. Now I'll spread a cheesecloth on top of my measuring jar here and slowly pour in the blended milk making sure the cheesecloth is not slipping off the sides of the jar. See the milk starts to drip into the jar. I'll add some more. Hold that cheesecloth, it's sliding down. Now by bringing all the sides of the cheesecloth together like this and squeeze out the milk and separate the almond meal and I will repeat this process until all of it has been strained. I'd like to do an extra rinse on this almond meal just in case if there's any milk left out. Once this is all done, we'll be left with this super fine soft almond meal and we'll see what to do with this at the end of this video. And the milk is ready to be transferred into the bottle. You can adjust the amount of water based on how creamy or thin you like your almond milk. Most canned almond milk contains very few almonds compared to what we can make at home. It can also be used to make desserts or tea. and. Instant coffee powder will curdle or break the almond milk so I wouldn't add to it. It gives me so much satisfaction to make things like this at home as I can control what goes into it and there is no hidden or harmful ingredients in it. This can be stored in the refrigerator for about 4 days to 8 days and make sure to shake well before serving. I usually make a double batch which will last me for a week or week and a half. The used cheesecloth can be washed with a drop or two of soap and can be dried. And just before making a new batch, just boil it in water. Now my most favorite part of the whole almond milk making, the chia seed pudding. This is 3 tablespoons of chia seeds soaked in 1 cup of almond milk for about 3 hours. To this, I am going to add chiku or sapota, mango and blueberries. Chiku and mango have been cut up into small pieces to release the sweetness into the chia pudding. This is by far my most favorite fruit combination of all that I've tried so far. You can add any fruits to this to find your favorite combination. And the pudding tastes so amazing and these natural flavors just explode in the mouth. I hope you get to try this and let me know how you liked it. Now with the leftover almond meal, I added half a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of chili powder, some coriander leaves chopped up and about a spoon of olive oil. I'm going to mix this and make it like a dough. 
I normally store it in the refrigerator and use it to thicken up curries like bottle guard, ridge guard and smoothies or any other desserts and so on. I took some of this mixture, made it into a ball and I am spreading this onto a parchment sheet. I will cut it into pieces with a knife and bake them at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. If consumed when these are still hot, they remind me of dried potato chips and it tastes so good. I hope you liked this video and hope that you get to try these three vegan and sattvic recipes and enjoy as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching.